So if you watched my last feeding video at the darkest place, you saw setup he made out of styrofoam for his slings. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. And also what I want to show you, how I made this. So how I made this and also I will show you how I prepared the molds for the display. Yeah. make it out of this type of styrofoam but you can also use the regular white one it's not a, it's, it's the same thing this one is just more dense so first we need to remove the slings and in say gold molted a few days ago it is a bit bigger now not sure if you can tell it is bigger okay now I need to measure this I'm going to mark it now and cut it to appropriate size Oops. So next thing that I want to do, of course I could just have it like that and it will be fine, but I want it to look a bit more fancy. I have some black fabric and I will wrap it around and it will look all nice and neat. So let's do that. And I'm using this pins to, to keep it together. Nothing special. Okay, so there's that. Now there are probably some nicer ways. It worked for this, so I'll just do the same thing. Now as I can see, edge is a bit rough. So you can probably use a sandpaper to grind it to be more smooth, but I really won't bother that much with that. Okay, that's one side. It is not really pretty, but the other side no, actually, this will be this side. Mm, it needs to be pretty. I need more fabric for this. And this is an experiment video. Don't treat it as how-to video because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, battery died. do this side first because it needs to look nice I really don't know how to properly how to properly do that no to make a hole here I definitely need to cut this a bit hope I'm not making a mistake there is probably a YouTube video how to do this nicely I guess I can do it like that I don't know I'm completely lost I should google something like how to wrap things in fabric this was easier because it's smaller i mean slimmer now somebody who knows how to do this stuff is probably cringing so hard <laughs> nailed it <laughs> Well, to be honest, it doesn't look that bad, right? Okay, besides this part, it is pretty okay. Now to wrap this smaller piece, perhaps I need some different approach. I just don't know what that approach is. Will this be enough? Nope. Man, I'm so bad at this cutting, look. What is this? <laughs> uh. Let's 
make this pretty now. Okay. Actually not that bad. I don't know what you guys think but it looks neat I dislike this part a bit but but it's okay now you can easily take the cup that you need much easier than when they are stacked one behind the other and it is nicer to see so yeah now I'll show you how I made the background for molds as you can see it is completely the same but it was a bit easier because that styrofoam is slimmer so it was easy to manage around it and as I said I used just some cheap fabric black fabric you can get it everywhere regarding the molds this one was old and had the broken pedipulp so I used the super glue to connect it this is much easier to do if you have a steady hand unfortunately my hands aren't that steady And again for fixing the carapace I also use the super glue to really do this sort of work because it dries quickly and you don't need to wait a lot. I'm fixing the carapace at three points and that's enough from my experience. All you need to do is apply a tiny drop of glue and just press it and hold it for 15 seconds or so and that does the job. And this is the final result. I didn't bother with the abdomen because for that you need a fresh mold and these obviously aren't fresh molds. And when it comes to positioning the mold on the background, you can use the hooks on the front legs to attach it to the fabric. So that is kind of nice addition to having a background covered with the fabric. But more or less that's all you need to know. And the final result is here, as you can see, it is really nice display, almost like a picture and the black background gives it a nice stylish look, don't you agree? Now before we end this episode up, I have a little update, as you can see that Nando Chromato sling that was comb molded, really starting to get that color, so far it didn't have the red on its abdomen, now it finally has it, and here where the molds are, you can see all of his molds from the very first one all the way to his last mold isn't that cool someone asked me for my ornata how big she is this is also her molds and and you can also see how she recovered her lost limb and you can see here where she had a new one and on this mold ah well it's broken but now it's completely normal. So yeah, about the size. This mold is around 14 and a half centimeters, maybe 15 if you really stretch it. And now she's bigger than this. Her last mold was 13 centimeters. So between these two molds, she gained one and a half centimeter. So she's around 16, 17 centimeters now. And may I say that 
Q&A video will come this Friday or next Monday. I'm not sure when. And all I can say, thanks, because there is a lot of questions. I didn't really expect that you are interested so much. So that is awesome. Thanks for that. We really have awesome community here. And also I can show you, I will put this plant into dark frogs. So something new for them. And to wrap it up, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload every Monday and Friday. And see you again soon. Bye. -bye, -bye.